It feels really good to have a foundation that matches me like this and I'm trying to help y'all out too. So. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about complexion. I feel like it's such an important part of makeup because if your complexion is off, the rest of your makeup is going to kind of follow suit. So I'm really excited to share a holy grail Mm, a foundation that's literally my perfect match not just in terms of shade but in terms of coverage finish wear like all of the things if you follow me on Instagram you probably already know what it is because I've literally been raving about it ever since the first time I used it last year so very excited to get into all the deeds of that and then at the end of the video I'm also gonna give you guys some tips and show you some really cool tools on how you can find your perfect match your perfect foundation based on your specific needs and whatever you want from your foundation. Do you like light coverage? Do you like full coverage? Do you like dewy? Do you like matte? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give you all the deeds. If you are struggling to find your perfect foundation, make sure you watch all the way into the end because I'm telling you, nowadays it's easier than ever to find it and I'm gonna help you out. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, I'm very excited because I am obsessed with this foundation. Literally, it's my go-to. So this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I have, if you guys have seen my recent Get Ready With Me video, I did try another one of their foundations, but I'm not even gonna lie. I ended up returning it and buying another one of these because this is just, nothing can compare to this. So my skin type is combination. I tend to be combination oily in the summertime and then a combination dry more in the winter time. So um, for me, I don't usually like a super matte finish but I've come to realize that soft matte is like the perfect finish for me so I wear the shade Tahoe and let me tell you actually I could probably show you better than I can tell you this is my skin color so if you feel like you're similar to my skin tone this is definitely something that I would suggest for you to check out I'm just gonna do one side of my face first so y'all can see for me, a lot of times with foundations, I have an issue with it coming too red or too pinky of an undertone for my specific shade. Undertones are super, super important. I am definitely more yellowy, warm, warm but not peach warm, okay? I'm not a pinky warm, I'm not a red warm, I am a yellow warm. Even I can get away with a little bit of olive kind of warm, um, so finding my shade with my undertone is sometimes a challenge because I end up looking orange. This foundation does not do that at all. It is like so perfect. I can't like, like I said, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> so do you see it kind of just like disappearing into my skin right now? And then I feel like it kind of matches with my body because my my face is like naturally lighter than the rest of my body. I feel like that's true for most people. It's just how it is. But I feel like this finds a good middle ground between like the darker shade of my body and the lighter shade of my face. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful shade and I absolutely love. Boom. Okay, you see the difference? So we should probably talk about coverage as well. I didn't put that much. I did put a little bit more than I usually do. Um, I usually can go pretty lightweight with this and still get a good amount of coverage. It is a full coverage foundation, but it's not one of those that looks cakey or feels cakey. I'm typically not usually a full coverage girl, but I do have like some old acne spots that I'm still working on getting rid of. So I still need some kind of coverage, just not like extra, extra amount of coverage. And this is it. The way that this is just, doing its thing we haven't even done the forehead it's literally just right here and i will say there are times where i actually don't set this with a powder and i think that might be today i don't know we'll see but um a couple of times where i've taken photos without even having to set with a powder even with concealer and everything like that no setting whatsoever because the finish is just so beautiful on its own it just goes crazy every single time anyways let's go ahead and finish up the rest of my face this foundation she's versatile okay you can wear this whenever you want. Daytime and nighttime, it flexes for both. A natural daytime brunch look, a nighttime glam. Okay, so here we are over the whole face. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and really quickly just finish up the rest of this look off camera. I will be right back. Can we have a moment of silence for this look? I kept it super, super light. I didn't even add um, highlighter or anything like that so y'all could really get into the work that the foundation is doing on its own. And let me tell you, I just, I've been using this since last year, okay? This foundation since last year. And I still get like this every single time I put together a look. And you know what? I also found that when you have like your actual perfect match, I find that you actually use less products because you're getting exactly what you want. You have the shade, the exact shade that you need. I use less products of foundation and also less of every other product as well. Less concealer, all that stuff because it's already perfection on its own. It's just like a win-win situation and it's such a good feeling. I want to help you guys figure out how to get your perfect matches as well. So as I was explaining earlier, undertone is really, 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 really important. So that's gonna be kind of one of the first things you wanna consider, what's your undertone? Because a lot of foundations, their shades are listed, like it'll literally tell you whether it's a red undertone, yellow undertone, is it olive? Um, it'll literally tell you. So that's kind of the first thing you want to determine. The next thing is skin type as well. As I mentioned earlier, I am combination oily. So again, that's kind of why I err on the side of soft matte but if you are for example a super dry skin type you definitely want to get something that is more hydrating a little bit more dewy you might want to go for one of those foundations that has more of a skincare aspect that includes a little hyaluronic acid so you can get some really good moisture out of your foundation you really got to make sure that you're working with your skin type and giving it everything that it needs so we've got undertone skin type and then of course you're gonna have to consider your own preference do you like full coverage and do you like a dewy look or do you prefer a more matte look what are you using your foundation for do you like to just go really quickly and just really light in the day in that case maybe instead of a foundation maybe you need like a skin tint or something or are you the girl to go glam every day kudos to you girl i literally love to see it so if you're the glam girl you definitely want to err on the side of full coverage for sure so really it's all about knowing your preferences your skin type and your undertone now let me tell you sephora has taken it a step further in helping you make sure that it is even easier to find your perfect foundation. We all know Sephora's the plug. You and I, we both know this 100%. They're the plug for makeup and especially the plug for the best foundations out there but because there's so much I know sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming you go in the store and it's just like what do I do so Sephora has actually come up with four tools now they've added a couple that make it really really easy for you to figure out what like what direction you go into and the tools will also help to give you like little suggestions so one of the first tools is in store this has been around for years now you can literally go in store talk to one of their beauty advisors and they can actually scan your skin type with a little scanner thingy and it will literally spit out a special code and that code will tell you like which foundations have that specific shade based on the actual color of your skin. They do have three other tools online which I absolutely love. I love the convenience of doing anything and everything online. So one of them is called the Sephora Shade Finder Tool. When you're looking into a foundation and you're looking at the shades, you'll see like a little blue link that says find my shade. Click on that and that will take you to the actual shade finder tool which is actually great for people like me who already have a perfect match but you still want to try some other foundations like favorite brands have come out with something new but you're not quite sure which shade to get you can literally go there input your current foundation that you already know works for your skin tone and then it will spit back out the closest match or even sometimes a perfect match for that other foundation. So I personally love this, very excited about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the test soon actually. I'll probably document that on Instagram so if you guys are interested in seeing how that goes and let me know because there are a couple of foundations that I still wanna try. As much as I love this one, y'all know I still constantly love trying and experimenting with new and exciting different products and stuff. So this is a tool that I absolutely love. I think it is awesome, quick, and easy. Another tool that they have online is their 
their complexion routine builder. This is so cool. So this is for my beginners who don't really have anything, but are interested in kind of building a little bit of a routine. This is gonna be the perfect tool for you. So it's basically an online quiz that asks you all your preferences, all of that good stuff, and it will literally give you like a primer, concealer, a foundation, even like stuff to set, like setting spray, setting powder. It will give you a full complexion routine to get you started. So this kind of just breaks it all down, makes it a little bit easier and spits out suggestions to you based off of your own preferences. So the last but certainly not least online tool that Sephora has is their foundation quiz. If you don't necessarily need like a full complexion routine, you already got your primer and your setting powder, but you're really just trying to hone in on that perfect foundation for you, then you should go ahead and take their foundation quiz. This really hones in on foundation specific characteristics. Do you need a foundation with SPF? Do you need a foundation that is just packed with clean ingredients? Whatever you need, whatever your skin type is, whatever your preferences are, those are the recommendations it will give to you specific to foundation. So I just absolutely love these tools, again, because it takes all the overwhelm out of it and it just lets you have fun trying new foundations. So you can find all of these tools very easily on Sephora.com. You can go to their Getting Foundation Right guide which just recently launched and it has all the tools right there for you to easily access them. I'm telling you it is almost too easy to be able to find your foundation match of your dreams now. Another one of the things I love about Sephora, I don't know if y'all know about this, but when you go and pick up a foundation, you purchase it, you go home, let's say, you know, unfortunately you try it and you realize at home it's just not really working for you. As long as you haven't used more than half of the products, you can literally go back and return it. Like literally, you can just take it back, get your money back and try another new foundation. You can go back through the tools, see what other suggestions they gave you and go from there. So they really honestly, like Sephora actually makes it so easy. One more time but his skin. Okay, I'm so proud. I am literally so proud and so happy. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically gonna be it for this video. I hope you found it super useful. Please let me know when you find your foundation matches. Please, I would love to see it because I know it probably seems a little dramatic, like, oh, but honestly, finding my perfect foundation has taken a lot of stress out of makeup for me, so I'm hoping that it can do the same for you, and I would love to see y'all stunting in your new foundations, okay? So if you do find a match, please tag me, DM me, let me know. I would love to see you flourishing as usual. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. You might as well go ahead and check out another video while we're at it, okay? Before we leave, I do wanna say a super special thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video. I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.